Hello! Hi everyone! Tara here in the craft cabin. Um, it is day two of our kids craft challenge and wowzer! Um, I can't believe the reaction we've got online. It's been crazy um, and God people have responded um, um, the way that I, I um, hoped people would um, and that is um, with um, love and gratitude and all that lovely stuff. Um, you also responded with awesome crafts so we had lots of people sharing last night um or throughout the day actually i think the first person came in within the hour of me finishing the the live um, and showed me their puppets so we had some awesome puppets so well done to everyone who made puppets so i know some people shared them on facebook and thank you so so much i know lots of people made them at home and maybe didn't share them and that's perfectly fine too um but if you did well done and i hope you had fun got a lovely message from a mommy today to say that she was um crafting home with the kids yesterday and um yeah so it's really lovely to hear that um it's useful because that's really what it's it's all about is um about being useful um and about being creative and uh, just about enjoying it um, and i hope it's a way for um parents as well to um um interact with their kids in a really positive way as well um, I know some parents aren't very crafty and sometimes struggle with how to craft with kids so I'm honoured that um, this might be something that will, will help you and your kids um, but just always remember my first rule is wonky is wonderful so we're not looking for perfection we're looking for the crack here guys we're looking for creativity and fun that's what it's about so thank you for yesterday but this is a new day and it's a new craft. So let's get cracking uh, with today. Just to say hello to everybody. There's a couple of people watching. Ah, Denise is watching. My old pal from uh, Muttles Gross, Ireland. How are you? <laughs> um, it's funny the amount of people um, uh, you know the way you connect with with people um, as many of you know I lived in Dublin for a long long number of years um, and at the end I felt quite disconnected um, to lots of people um, and coming back home to Cavan and Ballyconnell and um, just feeling like you belong somewhere and you're connected to people and stuff like this just um, is, is one of the reasons I, I love being at home uh, feeling so much more connected to people and part of something anyway sorry I go off on a tangent we're crafting today not um it's not a philosophy class tara <laughs> but if you are watching just give us a thumbs up and say hello uh orla's online too we have about uh 12 people watching so do come online mm -hmm. if you're watching on the playback as well you are more than welcome too so um yeah everyone welcome so today it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek but it's one of the crafts again that we do lots of in the the craft cabin and it's using toilet roll holders so all the talk of um stocking up on toilet roll i know it's probably a little little bit um distasteful <laughs> but um these are a really good thing to um uh, to have or to reuse around the house so you may have toilet roll but you may have um as well from kitchen roll or we have um oil cloth in the shop and we cut up the tubes as well so lots of tubey type stuff at home that that you can use as well so that's what we're using today and we are going to make well you're going to make lots of different things so from this and this we are going to make something like this perhaps so this is a spaceship so this is a um, kitchen roll holder and I've used some uh, cardboard as well so and then I've, I've decorated with lots of bits and pieces um, for the season that's in it you could make your own little bunny so this is another um, kitchen roll um, uh, holder and um, I wrapped it in paper and um, I put some feet on him I have a little button nose and um, paper not paper clips what are they called pipe cleaners even um, and bunny ears of course and you probably think I'm obsessed with unicorns but I am obsessed with unicorns. Um, they're just a really lovely craft and I know the kids all, all love them as well. Um, so this is a toilet roll um, holder and I have little ears and a horn in it. And this is yarn. Um, so just some coloured yarn that we have. Um, if you can see, um, we just taped it at the top 
brought it down the bottom here and out the back so we're always looking for easy ways to do things so rather than trying to stick stuff up here and stick stuff down there and um, just having one one longer piece like that so this little boy up um, and then this is probably what we make the most of is minions and I don't know they're just don't seem to be going out of fashion at all. Kids still um, still love love minions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make minions. I've come up with a, 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 a the easiest method I can master. Um, when you're doing this with a group of 20 kids, you want to find the easiest way to make minions. And I think I have come up with it. So I'm going to show you how to make these. So just to say, um, we make lots of different um, versions of these. So you will come up with lots of things, which I'll tell you about um, at the end. So Oh, yeah so hi everybody um oh hello Mairead is saying that Caelan, Aideen, Grace, um, Shawnee and Sadie are crafting in Lavi so hello guys um so I'm just saying to Anita that I'm doing a Facebook live I forgot to say to the girls I'm in the office today doing Facebook so these are the crafts that we are going to make today uh, or you're going to make at home but I am going to make a minion with you all today so I'm just going to clear up Hi! It, Anita's coming in to say Hi. hello. I'm in the office today. We have a workshop going on inside, so I can't, um, can't craft in our workroom. Anyway, it's all a bit chaotic. <laughs> so I am just clearing my desk here to make space for all the bits and bobs that we are going to use. So let's get to it. So I see lots of people are coming on and watching. Cleona says hi there. Uh, Cleona and Amy did a beautiful um, collection of puppets yesterday. I was amazed at the variety of puppets that people did. It was class. Um, we should have a puppet party, I think, in the craft cabin when all this craziness is, is over. Um, um, I see George is crafting in Dublin. Hello, Jacintha. So, hello, everyone in Dublin. Oh, my God. That's mad that people around the country are watching. So, anyway, let's get on with making minions. So, I'm going to turn this around a little bit or turn it down. Whoops. So, I'm not going to see your comments for a little while, but I will come back to you. So, hello. So, we are going to make this little minion today. So, I'm going to show you um, my easiest method to make minions. So, we're going to start off with um, yellow and blue paper. So if you understand and know that this ordinary piece of paper, um, like photocopy of paper, that is an A4 size, I need you to get, um, so then an A4, show you, an A4 becomes an A5. So if you split an A4 in half, it becomes an A5. So if you see, it's two. That makes sense. And then if you split an A5 in half, it becomes, these two are A6s. So you need two or as many minions as you want to make. You need one of these for every minion. So you need one A6 for every, every minion. Okay. If I split an A6 up in half, it becomes an A7. So if you see there, it is half. So it's just about keep folding it um, and cutting it in halves all the time. That's all you need to remember. So what I need for this craft is I need one sheet of A6 like this in yellow and I need one sheet of A7 in blue like this. So these are going to be my templates that I am going to use to make my minion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blue sheet of paper first. I'm going to fold it in half like this. I am going to take a pencil or marker or something. Um, oh, let me just check. I have this the right, right way around. Whoops. This is what you do. This is what happens when you do everything on the the fly. I'm just going to cut that a little bit actually. Make it a little bit shorter. I'm just wondering why it was so thick. So on this one here I'm going to draw a rectangle. That's all I'm doing is drawing a little rectangle in it. And then I'm going to cut out the rectangle. Again it doesn't have to be perfect but just going to cut it out so I end up with like a little house or something so like that and when I open it up that's going to become his dungarees so what happens when you put this down 
um, oh, I think I've done this the wrong way. Anyway, when you put the dungarees down like this here, it becomes like that, okay? And I have, I've done this the wrong way around, guys. I should be a little bit more prepped, shouldn't I? Let me just check. It should be, whoops, daisies. What way am I doing it? Oh, do you know what it is? When it is, sorry, this is totally my fault. When it is this size, so when it's uh, A6, I need to fold it this way. That's what I'm doing wrong. Sorry, guys. So you're going to need this shape and then we do it this shape. So I'll do it again on a, a replay. Sorry, I'm just splitting this in half now. Split it. I'm going to fold it again and I'm going to draw my whoops, up and over like that again. And I'm going to cut. Oops, like I did the last time. Okay, so I end up with this. So then I end up with this. So when I put it on top of my sheet, um, it goes all the way across. Okay, so let's just do that again because I'm really sorry. I'm confusing you all. This is what happens when you come in late to, to work. So I've taken my big sheet of paper like this this one I folded in half and cut it into this size and then this size I have cut in half into this so this is an A5 um, or an A6 sorry sheet of paper and with my blue one I have the same size of paper in blue and I have folded it this way not this way so fold it lengthways like that so I end up with a little sheet of paper like this so it fits perfectly on top of my yellow sheet of paper okay hope that makes sense sorry for confusing you all so I make my minions flat to begin with because I think it's much much easier to to do especially for little ones so this is going to be my tube so this is going to be stuck on top so I'm going to get my glue so just some um Prit stick. I'm going to put some glue all over the back of it and I'm going to put this down, line it up with the bottom like that. Okay, so then it, you see the shape starting to take, take shape. Okay, so now like my little um, minion just all around his dungarees, I'm going to put um, like the little, um, um, I don't know what they are, like little um, sewing marks in it, I suppose. So I'm going to do, do that. So I'm just using a black marker and I am doing lots of dots all around the, the sides. So if you can see that. So you can cover a toilet roll. Um, tube. I find sometimes just using card can just be as simple. So even if you don't have uh, a toilet roll tube free, um, you can just use card. You can use paper as well. It's just not as sturdy. You might stick two pieces of paper together if you want to. So going around here. Oops, nearly done. Okay, and then in the middle here, so like on my one, I have um, a K in it, so you can put whatever um, you want into it. Um, I get the kids to put their own initial in it as well. So I'm just doing this, and I'm going to put a T in it for Tara. Okay, so then I end up with this. Okay, so starting to take shape. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do his um, his glasses or the, the thing that he wears around his, his eyes. So I'm going to do that. So all I'm doing with that is I am drawing um, a line across and a line across again. Okay, just to give me an idea of where where his um, eye mask is going to go. I have some googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can just use some white pieces of paper um, and just draw little black dots in them if you want. You don't have to use googly eyes. So on this one, I think I am going to put two eyes on them. So I'm just going to stick them down. These googly eyes um, are self-adhesive. They just have a little thing on the back of them. 
Okay, like that. Okay, so I have my two little eyes in. So now I'm going to colour in. I like to put the eyes down first just so I can uh, get the positioning right on them. I'm just going to colour in along here. You can see that. So I'm using a Sharpie, but you can use any type of marker that you have. And colour in in the middle as well. So some minions have one eye, so you just need to do one eye if you want to. Um, some of the, the uh, packs of googly eyes have um, big eyes as well. So you could do just one big eye if you wanted. So I'm doing that. So what I have now is this. So this is starting to take shape. So I'm going to do um, some of facial features on him. So um, this one, I just have a smile on him. Um, you can, whatever mouth shapes that you want to do, but you can also do eyebrows and things on him or, um, you know, whatever you want to do. So on this one, I am going to do maybe like a cheeky smile, uh, maybe with his tongue hanging out. I might give him some freckles. I think he might be a freckly kind of a guy. I'm going to give him some eyebrows as well. So this is my guy so far. I don't know um, if you can see that okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is using a little bit of scrap black paper. So I have some uh, black paper here. I'm going to do his hair. So on my one, I just give him like one quiff. So this one, I think I might give him something a little bit more um, curly. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little bit of black paper like this. Just going to roll it a little bit, if you can see there. Just going to roll it in my hands just to make it a little rolled up. And I'm going to cut a few little strips in it. You can come up with different hair um, for, for your guys. So all I've done is uh, cut little pieces of hair. Um, and just because I have rolled it a little bit, it's going to stick up. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of salad tape and I'm going to stick this on to my little guy. Okay, so this is going to go on about, oops, go this way, sorry, go about, which way did I stick it now? About there. Okay, so what's left to do now is to just roll it okay so all i'm doing you can see there i'm reusing uh reusing paper we love reusing stuff in the craft cabin and that's not just because we're from cabin guys it's because it's the sensible thing to do um so i'm just lining up my um dungarees using a little bit of salad tape and i'm taping the bottom and i'm taping the top like that and da, 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 da. voila i have another little minion so i have a little friend for this guy so <laughs> that is how you make a minion so you are using um whoops some sheets of paper like this so the blue being the dungarees and the yellow being the main body and just with a few extra bits and pieces like eyes and a little bit of hair and a marker you can make your own minion so what you are going to do I'm going to bring you back to myself and there's been lots of people oh hello guys oh there's loads of people hello everyone lots of comments and stuff so hello guys sorry um uh, sorry I can't reply to all the messages just now but um, I will get back to everybody later on lots of waves and hello guys thank you so much I really appreciate you watching and um, it's cool so what you're going to do is you're not just going to make one minion what I would like you to do is we are going to play minion bowling okay so what I would like you guys to do is to make a collection of minions all different types of minions so I want to see different hair different dungarees different mouths different eyes even I want you to make enough minions that you can go bowling with them so you can set them all up at the end of the the living room and using a rolled up sock or a little ball how many minions can you knock down <laughs> okay do you think you can do bowling with with your minions 
I hope so. So I hope you'll be able to make a couple of different minions um, today. If you're not in the mood for making minions, you can, of course, uh, make unicorns. You could make a spaceship. You could make a bunny. You could make lots and lots of different things. Because we did animals yesterday, maybe do something a little bit different today if you want to. But the main thing is that you get crafting today. Um, you have a little bit of fun making something. Um, and yeah and see what you can do with it because oftentimes when we craft things we make it and it's lovely and it sits there and that's great but what else can you do with it so with the minions we often play bowling with them so when we do our kids craft parties kids make kind of four of these so we put like we would have like 40 minions all together on the floor and we would play bowling with all of our minions so um, that can be mad yeah it can be a pain because Tara is the one that usually has to pick them all up and put them back sitting uh, sitting up but anyway guys great fun hope you make loads of minions really looking forward to seeing them all on the um uh, posts uh, down below um, and love to see the things that you make so um be safe everybody remember our rules one wonky is wonderful very very important doesn't have to be perfect just has to be creative rule number two is tidy up after yourself so when you've done all of this put everything away guys and rule number three is if you can share so share pictures and share your experiences as well. Um, we all can learn from each other and be inspired by each other. So love to see what you make. All right. So see us tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow is Sunday. I'll be doing a video from home um, and we'll do another craft challenge. So see you guys. Take care.